Hey astrology lovers, this is your astrologer Julia Mikas with Luna and we're going to give you your August 2020 horoscope. Now these horoscopes work best if you use your ascendant sign instead of your sun sign and if you don't know what that is, then get your exact birth time and head over to my website so you can calculate one for free. I'm going to put the link below. And also don't forget to subscribe to my channel because I'm producing short but sweet horoscopes every month. Hey Aquarius, so Mars, the planet of conflict and energy, is in your third house of communication, neighborhood, and relatives all month. Next month, Mars is going to go retrograde, so expect it to hang out in this house for a while. You could have disagreements with your neighbors who might be nagging and complaining about you. Maybe they're telling you to turn down your music or walk your dog away from their curb. Also, there might be more tension among your brothers, sisters, or cousins, whose egos are probably running really high right now. The problem is, is that you're not willing to back down from a verbal fight right now, too. So if someone disagrees with your ideas, you're likely to take it as a personal affront. And if you don't have anything nice to say, Aquarius, then just try to shut your yapper. And Mercury, the planet of communication, enters your seventh house of partnership on the six. You're looking for the right sounding board to bounce your ideas off of during this time. Since your mind is in the house of other this month, you can also approach relationship conversations with a little bit more detachment, where you can really see the other person's point of view a lot better. And that can be super helpful. Um, but remember that Mars is also in your third house, so you're a lot more willing to fight for your point of view as well. Wow. So Venus enters your sixth house of work, service, and health on the eighth. You might find yourself trying to serve your partner in a more practical way this time. Your relationship might be rooted in more grounded realism than runway idealism this month too. And your partnership can have kind of a business before pleasure vibe to it this month. Um, not the most romantic time. And Uranus, the big weirdo and planet of unexpected surprises, goes retrograde in your fourth house of family and home this month. Since Uranus is an outer planet, it takes about seven years for it to go through a house. And Uranus has been here since 2019, it's going to stay here till 2026. During this time, you might have to deal with sudden upsets to your physical home or from your family members. Uranus can also make situations go up, down, and sideways. You really don't know what you're going to get from probably the weirdest planet in the zodiac. And a full moon is coming up on the third in your first house, Aquarius. That's the house of self, so this lunation is probably going to affect you rather personally. The spotlight is on you right now, and you could be brimming with emotions, which is a bit weird because you usually don't identify with being so emo. A tight square from Uranus in the fourth is fueling the feeling fest, and you may have some sudden interactions with those in your personal life, or some sudden deep insight from your psychological past. A new moon is taking place in your 7th house of partnership on the 18th, so that means you're starting a new cycle of development with your partner, since you're feeling how much having someone else can really complement and complete some aspects of who you are. What aspects exactly? Well, a supportive trine from Mars in your 3rd brings passion, bravery, and activity to your discussions with them. Combining your minds together on some issue is really going to strengthen your own thinking more than just trying to figure out something on your own right now. Thanks for watching. Subscribe below so you don't miss any of the latest cosmic news. I'm putting out short but sweet horoscopes every month with Luna.